Hey guys, how are you all? This is the first uh, introductory tutorial video on SAP 2000. Uh, so I'm currently using uh, SAP 2000 version 18.2 and if you don't have this software, you don't have to worry. Uh, there is another tutorial video where you can get uh, this software for free. Alright, so uh, okay, so for this uh, tutorial, I'll be uh, you know uh, showing you by uh, drawing this uh, beam and uh, I'll be showing you how you can get a uh, shear force and bending movement diagram of this beam okay so the clear uh, the span of this beam is 10 meters and and the 5 kN load is acting at the center of the beam okay so uh, this is the x axis as you can see here and perpendicular to this is the y axis that goes like uh, this as you can see in this diagram and z axis is the vertical axis all right okay okay so uh, after having the clear example of this beam let's go to sap and once you open this uh, software go to file and click on new model Okay, so uh, you can see initialize model from defaults with units kilonewton meter centigrade. All right, so you can see three units right over here, and the first unit is the unit of force, second unit is the unit of distance, and third unit is the unit of temperature. So kilonewton is the unit of force, meter is the unit of uh, distance, and centigrade is the unit of temperature. All right, so. Uh, there are lots of uh, templates available here uh, so you can draw beam, 2D truss, 3D trusses, 2D frames, 3D frames, wall and everything else uh, but uh, the most flexible template is this one grid only so all the tutorials that I'll be teaching you in this series will consist of uh, using this template only and we won't be using any other template because they are uh, not as much as flexible as this template is alright so click on this only after that you're gonna see uh, this dialog box don't worry what this is you will understand it later and click on ok okay as so after that uh, you will be seeing two windows parallelly so first window is in XY plane right over here and second window is the 3d plane okay so uh, let me give an uh, you know, short description of what SAP window looks like so here are file you know uh, menu menu bar this is the menu bar and uh, you can see file edit view define draw and and uh, many other things what they are we are gonna see later alright so uh, the, there are other icons right over here and you will get uh, you'll understand these icons uh, later in this tutorial alright so okay so after once you uh, jump into into this window and uh, I mean land into this uh, window what you do is that you double click on any grid point right over here or here or any other just double click it okay so you will see this dialog box okay alright so here it says X grid data Y grid data and Z grid data alright so what X grid data is that uh, for uh, in SAF for drawing uh, anything uh, all you have to do is that you have to make grid for example if you have to locate this joint you have to make a grid for this joint and if you have to locate this uh, force you have to make a grid for this force and same goes for any other thing that you have to draw okay so uh, as I have already said that this is the X direction uh, so in X direction you have to locate uh, this uh, support and this force and this support therefore you need how many grids one grid two grid three grid alright so you need three grid in the X direction so what is the spacing for those grids so spacing from this grid to this grid is so you got a grid right over here alright okay so I'm sorry so you got a grid just like this right and next grid you got like uh, this right and uh, next grid you got like this so uh, so what is the spacing between these uh, these two grids so spacing between first grid and second grid is 5 meter and second grid and third grid is 5 meter as this force is located at the center of this span okay so if you consider this point as the origin so uh, coordinate of this point is zero alright so in X grid data don't 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 look at a uh, Y or Z grid data just look at the X grid data right so uh, the spacing for this is zero uh, ordinate sorry ordinate for uh, this point is 
5 meters and ordinate for this point is 10 meters so we gonna tell the sap uh, that we are making three grid uh, in uh, x direction and the and the ordinates are going uh, as per the requirements right so okay so uh, grid a so this is the grid a so this is uh, this is grid a this is grid b and this is grid c okay so uh, ordinate of grid a is 0 ordinate of grid b is 5 so here you don't see any unit right so uh, there is meter and another right over here you can see it's the unit of length is meter okay so c grid is at 10 meters so we don't need the d grid therefore we delete it right <coughs> okay so in the y direction however here alright so x grid data I think you're clear about it in the y direction there is uh, no any grid required because the beam is in the x direction only so in the y direction however we require only one grid uh, this for locating this line okay so therefore there is only one grid and rest we can delete it same goes for z direction right so we delete it after that we click on ok alright so uh, if you don't see any line over here don't worry just click on XG plane so XG plane so this means that we are looking like in this direction vertically right if vertically we are looking at this beam okay so after that uh, so once we, we uh, uh, you know uh, make the grids uh, what we next do is that we draw the beam okay so for drawing anything in SAP you have to go to draw option right draw menu bar and you can see a lot of uh, uh, options over here so there is draw frame cable tendon so beam is a member of frame right so beam is a member of frame so for drawing beam we are gonna click on this option right okay so uh, as you can see this icon over here and the same icon is right over here right so uh, so if you have to draw frame cable tendon means that if you have to draw beam or if you have to draw column you don't have to go to draw and click here you don't have to follow that uh, long process all you can do is that you can just uh, click over here and there you go so now you can draw your arrow changes uh, to uh, you know this uh, you know differently and uh, now you can draw a beam so click on the first point right over here and take it all the way to here and click here right so once you are done with it you can click escape button and you can so you can see I have drawn a beam okay so I have drawn a beam so what I have to do next is so I have to do is that I have to make these two joints right so make these two supports okay so for this select uh, this joint and and uh, oh okay so so I have to give a sap something right so I have to give a sap that I'm going to use this joint so so remember that whatever you are giving sap is you have to go to assign so we, we go to assign and click on joint and click on restraints and and we need hinge right over here and we click on hinge and click apply okay we got our hinge over here and after that we click on another joint and we click on roller over here and click on apply and okay alright so we have made a beam so what is left now so we are uh, the left is that we have to apply this 5 kN load at the center of the beam alright so select the beam now why we have to select it because we are going to apply the load on this beam so select the beam and click on assign why assign because we are giving sap something so we go to assign and what we are assigning we are assigning frame load B why frame load because beam is a frame alright so frame load what kind of load we are giving we are giving not distributed load we are giving point load right so click on point and load pattern they don't worry what these are we gonna see uh, later uh, later on other tutorials when I'll uh, be teaching you how to draw you know uh, you know analyze a building at that time we can uh, speak on in detail about these things okay so uh, point load uh, this is the location of the point load and this is the value of the point load you can see here it's a relative distance from end one and another is absolute distance from end one okay so this is the end one and relative distance from N1 means that uh, the sap considers this entire span as one meter 
and uh, divides the beam uh, as per the requirements. Uh, I hope we are getting this. And absolute distance from end one means that SAP considers this entire span as 10 meters. Okay, so we're gonna select relative distance from end one. So add relative distance zero means at this point we don't have any loads it's zero at relative distance from 0 0.25 means midway right over here we don't have any load so it's zero at relative distance from 0 0.5 now at the center we have the load of 5 kilo newton and at one we have got zero load and we click on apply all right so as you can see we got 5 kilo newton load right over there right okay so 5 kilo newton load we got right over there so we are on the xz plane however if you are in the xy plane you won't be seeing this load because in the xy plane uh, it is not possible to see the load uh, in the xy plane right so we have to go in the xz plane for seeing the load as you can see here okay so after that uh, we have uh, you know made a beam where applied the load what do we do next is that we run this uh, model okay so for running the model you have to go to analyze and click on run analysis you can alternatively press F5 or click this icon over here okay so click on run now oh sorry you have to save uh, this so I'm gonna make a new folder and we keep it SAP SAP FILES files okay so I'm gonna name this BEM beam oh however my caps log is open right okay so so it's now analyzing it alright so this is how the beam looks after you know analysis due to the 5 kN load the beam has bent right okay so click on start animation Oh, now you can see the beam how the behavior of the beam on the application of the 5 kN load uh, so this is the exaggerated view not the real view the beam doesn't oscillate like this okay so you don't have to get excited okay so once you get this uh, uh, this uh, up to this point uh, what do you do next is that you have to see uh, the uh, shear force and bending moment diagram for this beam right so whatever you have to get the output from the sap you have to go to display alright so shear force and bending moment diagram are the output of the sap so you have to go to uh, display so we go to display and click on forces and stresses alternatively you can click on this icon right over there so after that we click on frame cables and tendons and okay so case combo dead uh, don't worry what this is I'm gonna teach you later and so display type we are going to see the force right so component so we uh, we don't uh, we don't want to see actual force we want to see shear force and bending moment diagram so so here there are two kinds of shear here shear 22 and shear 33 shear 22 is the principal maximum shear uh, force and shear 33 is the principal minimum shear force and here moment 22 is the principal minimum moment and moment 33 is the principal maximum moment so for uh, you know getting the shear force diagram you have to click on here to two and we see a fill diagram and click on apply so this is the shear force diagram so if you have to see the values click on show values and click on apply so you get the negative here 4.14 kN over here and uh, positive here 4.14 right over here so this is the sign convention what uh, the SAF follows okay so you have to see the moment diagram click on moment 33 and click on apply so this is the bending moment diagram alright okay so uh, this is all for this video I hope this video was helpful if it was uh, hit like and subscribe for more awesome videos and from now I uh, continually I'm going to uh, give uh, lecture videos on SAP 2000 and I'll be teaching you how you can analyze and design a building a residential building I'll be giving example and you can follow those tutorials to uh, design any kind of building so this is just an uh, just an uh, introductory tutorial this is not how you uh, design or you know make a beam you, there are a lot of other things that you have to do before drawing a beam that we'll uh, learn later uh, okay thank you for uh, listening <laughs>